Hi everyone. My name is Ella. And my name is Jasper. And I'm her dad. Yeah, so we're gonna turn our names into monsters. We're gonna practice lettering, but also make them cute. I got my sketchbook and my trusty pencil. So does Ella. Mm -hmm. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna write our names very lightly. But remember to write very lightly because what we're going to do I afterwards is we're going to erase this because uh, this is going to be our skeleton. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out how we should make these letters become alive. So maybe I want the E to be chubby. So let's make the E chubby lubby. I'm gonna make him super chubby, like a giant chubby marshmallow. Oh. You can do whatever you want. There's no right way or wrong way to do this. The wrong way is not doing it at all, is not to have fun. So as long as you're having fun, you're doing it right. All right, now that we have kind of like their bodies, and Ella's getting started too on hers. Let's figure out what else we should put on these guys. I know what we should do. We should draw eyeballs. So let's draw some eyeballs here. I'm gonna give this one big eyeballs. Just like that. And here, looking that way. Wow, look at what Ella's doing. She's got one that's a cat. And what's that one? That, what's the E, Ella? Yeah, the E is a snake. It's a crazy snake. A crazy snake. I love it. It's looking really good. Next up is we're going to start coloring. All right, everyone. Now it's time to color. And I got my trusted paintbrush. So does Ella. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put on a base with watercolors, okay? So with watercolors, make sure you get water. Then you're just gonna pick what colors you want. Hmm, I think I like this color. I'm gonna get some, some color in here and just start putting some color all over. My cute little boys. Another thing that you can do is you can actually put water first on where you want to paint. You don't have to be perfect in coloring the lines. Just have fun. And then you can just get the color afterwards and just dab color, look at that, dab mm -hmm. color. You can choose other colors and mix colors up. So maybe I want to get some blue and put some blue around. Oh my, that's looking good. Wait, we have a guest! It's Stella! Hi. Hi Stella! Where'd you come from, little girl? That's my two-year-old daughter Stella. Yes. Yep, and she loves pens. Alright, let's get back to work. Okay, so let's drive for a little while. This girl's still going crazy with her watercolors. I'm gonna go on to the next step and we're gonna take out a black pen or any color pen that you have or even color pencils or crayons and we're gonna do some line work. And we're gonna draw in all these lines and make it look really pretty. You guys ready? Let's get started. So I finished outlining my monster letters. Here is Ella's monster name, E-L-L-A. Ella! Oh, and look at Ella's. She did a whole scene. Yeah. Lovely. Good job, nice. Ella. Thanks for joining Ella and I on our fun little art workshop. I hope you guys have fun too. We definitely did. Hi, uh, my name is Kamel Hadar, and I am one of the heads of Pawa Hawaii and Pawa Worldwide. This is my daughter Nova, 
and my wife Shauna on the video and this is my home studio uh, where I've kind of spent most of the quarantine um, painting different commissions and staying safe and uh, spending time with my family um, so today we're gonna do a little bit of drawing this is just like some of your more more basic um, kind of tricks on how to draw with your kids so first off um, I made uh, a few templates so you can make these on Photoshop if you are if you know otherwise you can just print out like little elements like that and um, put piece them together however you want so the easiest trick is so instead of uh, if you want to save time and not uh, spend time freehanding something is uh, just to do kind of like a very simple image transfer. So I'll uh, teach you how to do that now. What I do, the easiest way to transfer this is uh, you just take a paper, flip it over, and um, basically we're going to just darken the back with a pencil. And this is the probably one of the, the, the easiest, uh, simplest ways to transfer an image. Um, we're just gonna darken the whole background. There, here. You know, whatever your finished product, you want just like basic printer paper or you want your fancy, you know, thick art paper. It doesn't really matter. Um, you could even do it on fabric, um, but the pencil probably won't transfer. So usually I, I'll darken the background with chalk if you're transferring it onto something else. And basically you just, Turn it over and just trace it out. So once you start tracing, you can see that we're transferring it on there. Um, so I am just going to transfer this. We have done two transfers. One, uh, both of them are in pencil. This one I later outlined in Sharpie and this is gonna be Nova's coloring page. So why don't you sit here, No. We'll color our plumerias inside. They're white with? Yellow. Yellow, yeah, yeah. And then what about this? Do you want to make this a green palm frond? When I'm uh, drawing with pencils, usually, uh, you know, depending on what I'm drawing, I use different techniques, but um, like for this palm frond, I would probably, um, using like a, uh, kind of a feathering technique. So it's basically when you push hard and then let off the pencil and you're kind of feathering out. So, um, you know, each leaf you kind of, you, you always start the stroke at the same side and kind of let the pressure off. Um, and then it gives you that kind of feathered effect. What I do is I'll leave some gaps. You see where the white is here and here and that kind of gives the illusion of a, a reflected light. So you just kind of feather up and feather down and then you just leave white. So then that kind of looks like the leaf is shiny. Um, and then I just put little, little um, outlines on one side and that kind of makes it look like there's a shadow. Let me see, Nova, what did you draw? Donut. <laughs> there you go. Let me Wait. see. Wow. So follow Hawaiian Airlines on their social media for more sharing Aloha content, more fun videos for you guys during this time. And all we want to say is have fun, stay strong, stay healthy, and mahalo! mahalo. mahalo.